Hey everyone, it's Caitlin and Lily and welcome to another video. Uh, this video is just purely going to be a bedroom tour. If you've seen some of my previous life vlog style videos, you would know that I recently bought a house and have been in the process of moving in. If you're interested in watching any of those videos, I will link them down below. But we finally finished our master bedroom. Still a lot of work to do in the other house, but this bedroom is done. And I wanted to film a little bit of a tour for you guys on YouTube because I know some of you were curious and also I think it would be fun. I did work with a few different brands to get product and none of them are sponsoring this video, just to full disclosure here. I already did type up a few blog posts um, with more details about the room. I will link those below as well. But today I just kind of wanted to walk you around, do a little bit more of an informal tour and maybe pause a little bit more on some items that I particularly love or that have more meaning to me. So that's what we're going to do. Let's get started. This is the last you're going to be seeing of my face for a while. I'm just gonna be pointing the camera in the opposite direction, but I'm gonna sort of talk you through everything. So my tripod is set up, but everything else in the room is pretty much as it should be. So I'll start with a little pan of the room. So these are the doors that you come in. And then over here we have our bed area, some bookshelves and an adorable dog. Nice little window bench over here. Then we got a mirror right here. Hey world. And then we have a bookshelf. Let me back up a little more. This is the bookshelf. And then that is our bathroom door. That is our closet door. I'm not gonna show you those today though. And then we have our dresser over here and then the room continues in a circle. So I will start over here, I guess. I just wanted to talk a little bit more about the room now. So the bed itself is an avocado mattress. Um, the sheets are from Brooklinen, and all the furniture itself is from Room and Board. And I did work with those companies, but I'm not working with them for this video, but we're really happy with it. Well, actually this knot pillow here is from um, Home Goods, and I really like him, he's cool. I actually found this giant stick on a walk about like half a mile from our house, and I really wanted it, so I carried it home. And I covered it with some fairy lights, so they turn on at night and it's really nice, and I love how the window is right over the bed. We get really great light in here. And then over here we have a little set of floating shelves with some mementos. We got our essential oils. I actually still need to put a diffuser out, I think, on this bedside table. Right now we just have our light alarm clock, which I love. It helps me wake up really well in the morning, um, especially when it's darker in the wintertime. Right now in the summer, it's not that bad. We have this little bird hanging, which I got used on Afra. We also have a cute little fern dude here. And then on these shelves at the top, there is a peace lily. Just some decor, it's like a vintage Oreo container that I found at a thrift store. Here are some items. This was actually in my old bedroom, as well as this letter board with an office quote, which I might change up, and a bunch of random pins. And then Dylan had this mirror, but I thought that they paired really nice together. And then like I said, down here, we just have our essential oils. And then over in this bench here, the sun comes in here. And we got a really nice open field there. We got a rock there. And then this bench is really great because it's also a storage bench, so we can, Put things in here right now. I just have um, an acupressure mat and Lily likes to sit on here and look outside too. Then I got a jade plant and some of my friends cookbooks. They're all really cool people. And then again we are back at the mirror. Now I'm just kneeling and I actually did decorate this with the same fairy lights if you can see kind of faintly around there as the log. So they come with this battery operated switch. Let me just turn it on and zoom out. So as you can see, it looks really nice at night. And that's it for the mirror. You get to see me again, but now going away. So now I will do a more detailed overview of the bookshelf. Um, up at the top, most of this decor is from my old room. That's one of my favorite quotes by Charles Bukowski. I have some pictures of Dylan and I, and actually this coral is from our trip to Hawaii. Then on the shelf, we got some more books, um, a picture of Dylan and Lily. Uh, this is my mate gourd thing. Crap, I forget the name of it. Uh, from when I studied abroad in Argentina. Camera, Dylan had those bookends already. I already had that. Then down here we have some incense candles. And it's a picture of me and my friends hiking. Uh, it's one of the first hikes I ever did when I moved out here. Plus some sage. And then down here we got some assorted pots. I actually got all these at Goodwill for like less than $10 total. And I thought they looked really nice together. Then that's Dylan's journal. Got a salt lamp, it's a candle from our local farmer's market. And this is a money plant or Pilea plant. My friend Parker, who actually did my tattoo, got it for me. And I like it a lot. 
And then down here, I'm really excited about this rainbow bookshelf because it just looks cool. So Dylan and I had a ton of books and I just organized them all to form a color gradient and it's really visually satisfying. And then this is the last little corner over here, which is our dresser. We keep some of our clothes in there, some of them in the closet. And I actually got this gold hanging thing from Goodwill. It's originally from, I think, like Pier 1, um, but we got a second hand. There's a picture of Dylan and I. He has this little wooden monkey that I think looks kind of creepy. Let me know in the comments below if you think it looks kind of creepy. Um, but Dylan likes him, and I love Dylan, so it's Dylan in our room. And we have another salt lamp, and those are some rocks we actually got in Hawaii as well. And then we have an outlet back there, actually our modem for Wi-Fi. It's in our bedroom. Not happy about that, but it was like the only place we could put it. So the picture frame hides it. And then I'm hiding the plug back there with this vase, and I just filled it with sticks from a trail near our house. And I also made myself this little makeshift jewelry holder. That's a stick, and that's some cord I just had in the house. Um, we just put up on the wall here. I had this in my old uh, bedroom though. And then over here, this mirror is from my uh, old bedroom as well. Dylan already had the globe. I got the rock at Home Goods. Um, I got the candle and stuff at the second hand store. And then I had this beautiful monstera plant that my friend Chelsea actually gave me. And when I first got it, it had none of the like tears in the leaves that naturally occur with it. But I got two leaves now and this one is unraveling and it's gonna be like the holiest leaf. Yet, and I am so excited. It makes me really happy to see him every day. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you got a new leaf, got holes in it. Maybe that's just me, but I think if you like plants and have plants, you can probably relate. And that's where I charge my phone. Here's a lamp, we got some mala beads. And we'll end again on the sleeping dog, Lily. Wanna say hi? She's like, no, leave me alone. Pop in here one more time uh, before I finish this video. I hope you guys like the bedroom tour. I am really, really happy with it. It's definitely my favorite room that I have ever decorated. Along those lines, so this room took a lot of time and a lot of work, and it can be really easy to compare your bedroom or what you have with someone else. And online, it is purely a highlight reel. I moved in in mid-March, so it is now mid-June. We've been working on this bedroom since then, some weeks a little bit more than others, but it's still definitely been a process and we did put a decent amount of money into it. I'm very grateful to be in a position where I'm able to live in a space as beautiful as this, but I just want to put it out there that please don't feel any pressure or this is not meant to brag at all. I just wanted to share something that I loved. And I also wanted to say that I got a lot of these things secondhand, as I mentioned in the tour and in my blog post, which I already mentioned will be linked down below. I kind of went over a few tips on how to decorate your room with minimal waste. A lot of things in this room we repurposed from things that Dylan and I both already had, or I got a lot of things at secondhand stores as well. Plants are relatively cheap, I guess, in terms of the decorating room. And I plan to have them with me until I kill them. Hopefully I don't kill them. And I also searched a lot of secondhand apps. So there's a ton of different ways you can get furniture. Obviously you can buy new furniture. I do think it's good to buy quality furniture when it matters. But for a lot of the decor, we got secondhand or we already owned, like I said. And if this is sort of a new world to you, I would definitely suggest checking out your local thrift store like Goodwill or Salvation Army, or there are some local ones that aren't as much of chains uh, where you can find really cool items. You do have to dig a little like I did, but it is worth it, I think, in the long run because you get more unique items. But also if you don't live near a thrift store, there are apps such as Let Go and Offer Up. People sort of use those apps as like an electronic consignment shop. So the prices will be a little bit more than a secondhand store, but the items are usually in really good condition, sometimes even new. It's also really great because I think both of these apps offer shipping as well. So usually they're limited to your local area. So whoever uploading to that but they do offer shipping now so if an item isn't near you you can pay a few additional dollars and have it shipped to you which is technically more waste but it's still less waste than buying something brand new i think that's it let me know in the comments below if you're liking these home videos i guess um i can definitely post more updates as things go along i might just include them into regular vlogs but because this is a larger room and we put a lot of time into it I wanted to film a separate video for it. So I hope you guys are having a great day, whatever time of day it is for you. And I hope to see you in the next video. Have an awesome day. Wait, I already said that. Okay, uh, uh, just bye.